YouTube, Future 22 JS back at you with another video. I have the review and the on foot of the Air Jordan 4 RM up right now, so make sure you guys go check that video out once you're done with this. Now, be sure to leave the link after this video. Now, with the sneakers that I have for you guys today, bro, this is a sleeper. Label read, Nike Air Max 1 PRM. The colorway is dark smoke gray, smoke gray. And here we have the Nike Air Max 1 in a dark smoke gray colorway. And this is just one of those low key sleeper sneakers, bro, that Nike dropped maybe four or five days ago. I tend to look at Air Maxes a lot because I try to catch the fire once that's on sale. And I seen this one and I was like, you know what? I think I need to cop because this one really looks fire and getting it in hand. I'm telling you guys, this sneaker is fire. Check it out the space. You can see we have a gray translucent outsole and peeping through the outsole, you can see an infrared Nike swoosh for a white Air Max 1 missile. And if you look inside of the air unit, you can see the inside of the air unit is infrared as well. And something that I find very unique about this sneaker, the stitching on the toe box is going horizontal. And the same nylon material can be located at the upper portion of the heel. Wrapping around the mid panels, you will see we have some very soft plush black leather. In the middle of the black leather, we have another Nike swoosh that's in a wrinkled suede new book. Never seen this type of texture on the new book before. It's something different to me, but I can say that I honestly and truthfully like it. And with me, it's always about the small subtle hits when it comes down to the detail. The beginning of the eye stays have this small hit of shaggy long hair suede come factory lace with this dark gray, a super dark gray lace. They do not come with an accessible pair of laces either. With the Nike logos, we have a Nike Air in gray. And in the center of the Nike Air, you will see we have an infrared swoosh. And I like how they didn't put too much into the coloring like this sneaker is fire bro and lastly capping it off at the top we have a gray nike air stitched on a black patch at the top of the tongue then it comes down to sizing so i just recommend you go true to size you will not regret it at all air max ones is probably one of the few sneakers that you could really pull a whole work shift in for real it just get to the point where sometimes you just need those sneakers that you know you one, you could give your other sneakers a little bit more life, but it's also good to have just that one sneaker that you know you can put on anytime, any place, anywhere. This is what this is for me, but I just wanted to make sure that I brought this to you guys. I know it's a lot of people that don't really sit and scroll through Nike like that, and sometimes when you discover fire colorways, you look and your size is gone. I'm going to try my best to make sure that when it comes down to those certain fire sneakers, like yeah they not gonna be reselling for anything or none of that but certain ones you could probably be favorite and you know whenever nike roll the sale out you know black friday coming up the holidays coming up when they get to rolling those deals out and those coupon codes and things of that nature you could already have this on the top of your list of what you want to grab. In the comment section below, you guys let me know what you think about the Nike Air Max 1 in the dark gray colorway. Like I said, Air Max 1s are hit and miss. There's a massive Air Max 1 fan base out there. There are a lot of people that'll get Air Maxes, but there's a lot of people that don't want to get Air Maxes for a full retail. People really wait until these sales come around to snag these Air Maxes up. If it's fire enough, yeah, they'll cop it on release day. I I've noticed it when it comes down to Air Max. But there are certain ones that you can just sit, put in your favorites, you can just grab it on the next sale. So hopefully this will be the first one on your guys' list. I just feel like this is just one of those ones. It is versatile, the material is fire, it can sustain rain. You know, a lot of people might not want to mess up their suede or whatever, but that's another thing that's fire about it because even if you don't want to wear it every day, it's still fire enough to pull off with a fit for real. It doesn't get any better than that when it comes down to a sneaker. Like if that's not versatile, I don't know what is. So that's the end of the review. My name is Future22JS and I always know that there's no selling to your inner potential. This was my in-hand review of the Nike Air Max 1 in the smoke gray colorway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm now going to leave you with an on foot. Be sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends where your faith begins. Peace.